It's okay. Oh, the, I'm the clergy. The clergy. Oh, that's my mom. That's my mom. Oh, hi. I said, I don't mind everybody seeing my boobs. I don't yeah, care. We'll let, we'll as long as y'all mind seeing them, I don't mind. Hi, how are you? Hi. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I told you she had the whole village with her. I'm the daddy. The daddy. But You're important here. The reason why it was important is because these are people that are going to be supporting me. Okay. And I need us all to know the same information right. because I don't, when you're emotional, you can't remember everything. And, right, that, right. and that's why I need it. No, I, and I, I, and I, I he was only that. concerned that some people would be like, oh, this person, she out of here. I said, not one person has spoke that unto me. Okay. I spoke unto this one. I life just gave her a word of caution because even among physicians and among breast surgeons now, there's no unanimity in, in, in a one set of treatment and that's it. Right. Uh, there are so many options now. Very often. And decides uh, what to do. I think it's very unfair if sometimes somebody does her. Mrs. Smith, who sits in the front row in the third pew, well, she had you this and she was dead in three days, you know, or this somebody had a mastectomy, so don't have a mastectomy because that one didn't do too well, or don't have a lumpectomy. It's, you know, it's not fair for her for, because it's so different for everybody. You know? I have had big breasts for years, and so the fact of me to have something smaller. The least <laughs> is a good thing for right, me. Right, 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 and if right, it has yes. to go, it doesn't belong there. Right. And it has to go. Good, and I'm right. married to my husband. My yeah. husband's going to love me whether it's that he got breasts. I'm glad that you, know, you, you understand this very well. You I have just, attitude. You know what the problem for me, I'm just, it's not. Like I told you, I don't feel a death sentence over my life. Okay, I feel well, I'm glad you I feel that. fine except for the except for the back pain. Right. My problem is the going through. Because I know when I had a thyroid cancer, I had to go through some stuff. And right, it was right. rough. Right. But the, what I would don't want you to do is sometimes having a lot of information and processing it without really getting the proper I tried diagnosis. not to, but I went into like a panic. I mean, you broke down when you came in here, and I haven't even told you, I had to tell you, you the know, truth. how hard it is and all that. But I had to tell you the truth about everything. Oh. Got to tell you the truth that like, you know, that I saw it on the internet. I saw the report was released to me. Right, right. Well, see, you had that information, and you already you broke down. You're already correlating your back pain, your stomach pains, and this pain and that pain. It's all over my body, and, you know, you're already creating problems that we don't even know exist, all right? Okay. So you're making yourself suffer for things that we are, and none of us here is privileged to know yet, all right? So just very briefly, you do have malignancy. It involves the ducts, which is the tube that carries the milk from your, from your factory, which is called the lobules, into your nipple. That's the most common cause of breast cancer. Now, how far it's gone? How locally, uh, what the local size is, how invasive is it, are the lymph nodes involved, what stage it is, we have no idea. All we don't know is that we took several cells, we know that this is cancer, all right? Now, your, your uh, ER is positive, it's negative, your PR is negative, we're waiting for you, that's those are estrogen receptors, progesterone receptors. And the HER2 is pending, what, what is it? is pending. If it's a triple negative, that means it's a more aggressive type of tumor, and very often this patients would either benefit with the chemotherapy before or sometimes after, or almost definitely, if not before, then definitely after the surgery, all right? So uh, we know a little bit more about the behavior of the cells. We don't know everything, but we do know that if it's a triple negative, you heard two, uh, new uh, receptor is uh, negative, then you will be, you will benefit uh, with with uh, with medications. All right. So now, first of all, we got to know is how locally uh, involved is it? What is the size of that tumor? Are there other areas in the same tumor, in the same breast, or are there other ones in the left breast that we don't know of? That's why the uh, MRI of the breast is very important, all right? So another thing that we gotta do, we gotta find out why you have your back pains, your stomach pains, your pe ear pain, your big toe pain, and all that. <laughs> so we, we, we gotta do what's called an, a uh, PET CT scan, all right? That's an injection of a dye, and the tumor cells normally eat it up. And then when you take a scanner, it will then light up like a bulb. And then we'll, it, it makes us um, uh, aware of certain areas that are suspicious, and we can chase them with biopsies in different areas. Um, is that the contrast, like the IV contrast? Yes. I'm really allergic to it. I have to have a Benadryl like drip through it because I get hives all over. Right. Now the question is, is it from the iodine or is it from something else? 
Well, whenever I get like an MRI done, I get, if they give it to me, even if they give it to me before, I'm still going to itch and get hives, but it's, at least it's manageable. I don't know. Right. So I need Well, we can eliminate those, but it's just critical. No, it's critical. I mean, I need it, it's so I'm very, just telling very you. It's important for you. What you got to do is when you go for your test, you got to tell the, uh, the, uh, uh, the radiologist as to what type of reaction you had, because what they can do is they can give you the Benadryl before they inject it. They did that, but then in the pill, but I need to have like a IV Benadryl to keep it, like to get it so right I mean, in there. It's important for them to be aware of it okay. so that they can do something before you develop the reaction, all right? Uh, in other words, if you are if you develop diarrhea when you eat pasta, what they do is they tell you to take some Lomotil before you take the pasta, and then you eat it, then you're okay. So if you develop a reaction to certain types of uh, dyes, they, they, they give you the injection and the oral medication, and very often you do well. If you can't you ha can have it, we're not going to do it. No, I'm going to have it. Yeah, so the, the but, but I think it's very, very important for us to know exactly how involved it is. Because the mammogram, the ultrasounds have not been helpful for you, all right? So we need the MRI to be able to make this diet, to, to better assess the, the breasts, all right? The uh, PET CT scan is very important. Then again, I have to talk to them about whether these two dyes are related to each other or they're not, because then they might have to do the, exactly what they did for you to the, uh, the, uh, when they do this procedure. Once you have that, you then need to come back to the office and we'll put it all together. Once we have that, then we have to decide as to what kind of treatment, one that's available for you, and then you can make the decision together with your, your family and to discuss it as to what's important for you and what your priorities are, and then you can design a type of op uh, procedure and treatment that is most acceptable. Not, uh, the, the life is all about, good life is all about having choices, and hopefully we will have those choices, all right? So, but we can't tell you what those choices are until we have a better understanding as to how locally invasive it is, what the local size is, whether the opposite size is uh, involved or not, and whether this has gone somewhere else. I thought that I read that um, it said that it is um, poorly, so it's something that was it's not Poorly being differentiated, this means that these guys are athletes, uh, and they're that, trim, they're, they run fast, and uh, they're antsy. And that and, also and, that it, um, some of the... Since I guess the biopsy, now I know why you took some around it, because you did it around the margin. Yes. Uh, around it. Yeah, but and you're to not look at true. it. This is margin. Can you imagine how much space this is in here? But it showed that. If you only take a little piece of this, what about this, 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 and that? Okay. Right? It just okay. tells you a little bit about the margin, but it doesn't really tell you the story. Okay. Okay, okay so I'm going to write some uh, before. We're not in a position to offer you anything now because we don't know what, what is proper to design this. In other words, if we just um, uh, ha have your height and weight, we don't have the, si the length of your arm, your neck, and so forth, we can design a dress for you, right? So we have to have the proper measurements in order for us to be able to have a very beautiful dress to set, um, uh, you know, made out for you, and then you can hopefully fit into it, and hopefully the outcome is going to be great. Um. Well, my biggest concern, my back really, really hurts. I understand that, yeah, but that could be, it's like having a, I have a headache, and I say, I got a tumor in my but brain. It, it, Everybody's got a headache. I got a toothache. Ah, I got a cancer in my tooth. But it just like, it it just came together at the same time. And what about the throbbing? Oh, here, what do I do? I put ice on it, like you told me. I do the ice. Right. But it throbs. If you try to correlate with the pain, I told you with the problem with cancer, cancer cells tell you, all right. If, if you present first with pain, uh, if you had the, you did not have a lump and you came here because you have pain, then I say I don't have to check you. You're okay. <laughs> but if you came in and said I felt a lump, but I don't feel anything, that is bad. All right. So all right, let, don't jump into anything. All right. The, the pain there is could be a million different causes, different reasons. What about the um, blood flow? I saw that when I got the mammogram done, the ultrasound there was. Mm -hmm. On the outside of it, there was some blood flow, and I know that blood is what feeds it. Well, it, it, it needs uh, some source of oxygen, and right. of food, and that's why they, what they call neovascularity, it creates more blood vessels to be able to feed that tumor. Optimally, how soon will everything get done? Depends on you. No, no, I'll get done I mean, quickly. No, I'm going to write your script. It's up to you how fast you can run to those uh, places, how soon you can. Uh, Force your way says, I need this done right away and talk to them. And if you can't get it done there, I'll go somewhere else.
is there um, always a treatment plan for a woman? Absolutely. You're not going anywhere fast. Is it a good sign that I feel healthy besides this? Well, you know what? Attitude is a very, very important thing. If you have a very positive uh, attitude and you got like prayers uh, backing you up, and you have a saint who's going to operate in you, Saint Augustine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Saint Augustine. <laughs> there you go. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord found it. Yeah. It's a savior. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. Smartest uh, saint in out there in heaven. Yes. So and you have the reverend here. My goodness, what else can you? You got everything covered. Do you have another know? reverend? Oh boy, you got two reverends. Oh my Amanda. god, I forget it. Yeah. So, doctor, do you know exactly what size it is? You don't know. No, the that's why we're getting the MRI. Oh, okay. uh, because getting. so when we saw the five, like the the four and then the one, that doesn't mean that's as big as it is. Well, we, it is, but it doesn't give you the whole picture. I'm missing that. Well, I take a picture here of you. It just shows your face. How much does she weigh? How tall is she? I right. don't know. Yeah, so I just took a picture of the face. The exact size of it. Then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, because you were saying that all of it doesn't have to be that way. You took mm -hmm. pieces of it. you got to look at the right, whole right, thing. Right, right. Yeah. And that's done, I guess, once it's extracted. Sure. And right. And the MRI sometimes so. gives you a better, better, accurate picture. Okay. Sometimes not everything you feel is cancer. Sometimes uh, some of it is just fat. But some of it is just fibrocystic disease. And um, is there, like, also, like, with the back pain, do some things, when you have something that happens in one spot, have, like, a secondary, like, you, like you would get pains because of that? Mm -hmm. I didn't know why my back hurt. My back has never been on fire like this. Well, it hurts. Too. But it's it's hard to, like, Rest and sleep. It's like it aches a lot. Understood. I, I hate. I see to say this, but the weight has a lot to do with it too. I mean, there's a lot of strain in your muscle and your spine and so forth. But having said that, we don't know what is related to the breast, and that's the reason why we're getting all these tests. Who is part of the team that makes the care plan? Uh, I myself, and there's three of us. Uh, we're going to refer you to a medical oncologist and then a radiation oncologist. So it's, it's a team effort, and we need to look at this uh, first, second, third opinion, look at it from different angles. It's a multidisciplinary problem. It's a little off topic, but should I be worried? I'm her daughter. Should I be worried? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, she's not uh, 28 years old. <laughs> no, I'm saying for no, herself. No, I'm saying this uh, related to your question. Mm -hmm. If she was a very young person mm -hmm. and she had cancer in both breasts, right. the answer is you should be very worried, all okay. right? Fortunately, she's not 28 to 38 years old, mm -hmm. and uh, you, the fact that you have a first degree relative with developed breast cancer automatically puts you in a level that's beyond 12 and a half percent, because it's one out of every eight women who develop breast cancer. That's 12 and a half percent, and during their lifetime. All right, and uh, after we're done with her, we'll find out more a little bit about her tumor and so forth, and then we can uh, think about doing some genetic testing for her and maybe some genetic testing for you. I have two daughters. Both of them, yeah. Okay. Now we hear right. about stages. Do we know what stage it's in? We know. Well, absolutely. T staging is TNM, tumor size, nodal metastases, distant metastases. Like I said, we only took a picture of her eye. We don't know what the rest of her body looks like. All right? Under tumor size, isn't that? Do you move it, remove it, and do the you're, whole pathology of it? You're 20 steps ahead of us, all right? Let's take it a step ahead. No, but I was saying you're saying T, the TM, I'm saying TNM. tumor size is like when you actually T have tumor the... Tumor size, when the tumor is it's removed... It's taken out, they look at the whole thing. Exactly That's what I was asking. Above, right, yeah. To see how much, because some could be fibrocystic, like you said, right? Sure. And then some, or all, whatever. Absolutely. Percent. Okay. Okay, so... All right. All right, don't uh, overread everything, all right? <laughs> Trust in the Lord, pray that he sent you here. You, we know the prayer is a problem, and all we need to do is find out how to treat it. Two ministers, my God, it doesn't get better than that. <laughs> <laughs> you got both sides covered. I guess you pray for the left breast. Is he <laughs> <laughs> I pray for the whole body. <laughs> so you're saying, you're saying since this breast is dense like that, you really can't see through it with like a mammogram and the ultrasound. MRI. You really need to go in and MRI looks at every little like pixelated. Very very sensitive. Yeah.
Okay. And, I, and it said like the milk ducks, ducks is where it starts like that. And I was seeing that's the common kind where it starts there. Sure. Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> gonna have a great lunch now. Calm down, stop worrying. You said take. A I'm step actually doing at pretty good. Yeah. Step we'll at a time. time. That's all it is. It's like life. You take it a step at a time. It will kill you, and you won't die from that. You know. So if you be like Daddy, tough. Sorry for telling you my kids. Remember, I had cancer too. And I'm